they, and telling them it afterwards, they said they didn't want to go back into their body. That's right. That's right. You heard that, haven't you? Oh, yes. that's, that, that's right. They didn't want to go back into the right. body. It's like t it's putting a bird back in the cage. Yeah. Yeah. No bird wants to go in the cage, they want the freedom. Right. Yeah. And, and so that's just, that I thought them describing it that way, it was very interesting. Very interesting. So that's the way you and I are going to be. When we leave this body, we'll never want it back. Hallelujah. Why would we? Why would we? The glorified body is better in every, than, uh, in every way. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. My, I feel good this morning. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Gary's friend's going to be with us next Sunday morning at, in the uh, 10.30 service. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Jay. And uh, the, the, next, the next Sunday morning, Paul is going to be preaching. That will be the 30th, August the 30th, the last Sunday of the month. Paul will be preaching. Yeah. And we're looking forward to that. Amen. Boy, he's alive. <laughs> he, he, he's alive, preaching and leading the same. But he <laughs> uh, yes. He's connected, wired up the same. Oh, oh blessed be his name. Hallelujah. Blessed be his name. The world is in a terrible state. Yeah. Or did you notice? <laughs> It is a terrible state. And I guess it discourages a lot of people. But I want you to know this world's been in an awful fix before. Yes. And one of the places I think of is Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. And it said there that everyone in the place, it said the whole place, that's what the scripture is. The whole place was given over to homosexuality. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say of any place, even San Francisco, Toronto. has totally given over to homosexuality. Toronto. I was thinking this morning, I'll bet there's uh, some lovely old uh, people there that know the Lord, that are walking with Him, whose hearts are grieved, uh, and they live in San Francisco. Isn't that right? I'll tell you, God is able to put everything right. Amen. No matter how right. chaotic it, it has become, no matter how evil, vile, or corrupt, <coughs> God is able to turn it around. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. He turns Sodom and Gomorrah around. Yes. You know what happened? He had a slave on them. Right. Sodom and Gomorrah was, was slave. Yeah. Somebody said, it was because they were so corrupt uh, that they wouldn't respond to God and God couldn't do anything with them, so, all, so he had a white mouth. That's right. Boy, yep. that's an indictment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. right. Wow. Well, God can do that. That's right. God may have to do it again. Yeah. I, I don't know. Toronto. But the more you and I pray, the more you and I seek the face of the Lord on behalf of the whole world, uh, the fewer will have to be destroyed. That's it. Right. Because That's right. the That's multitudes, right. I, I, there, there may be many that have, have to be destroyed, but there will be a lot, many times more, that will come to the Lord <coughs> and, and accept Him as their own Redeemer. And have their life changed yeah. from Amen. that of darkness and evil Amen. to that Amen. of grace. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise God. God can do anything yes. but fail. Hallelujah. Some, are, some people are really afraid of what's going to happen to the end of the world. I'm not. No. Because God is on the throne. Amen. And what He wants to do, He's going to do. And when God sets out to accomplishing something, he's, He accomplishes it. Amen. It's not a maybe or a may so or anything like that. Yeah. It, he accomplishes 
what he purposed. And I use the illustration sometimes uh, regarding uh, the, the words of Jesus. Uh, and when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his only son. Amen. When the fullness of the time has come, Amen. the Son of God is going to return. That's right. Amen. Amen. And he's going to rule this world with the rod of fire. Thank and God. he's going to use you and I in the meantime to rule in life by one Christ Jesus. Amen. That's right. He's going to use you. He's going to use you. So get ready. Get ready. Make your heart pure. Yeah. Cleanse uh, your, your your ways and so on. And and walk with him in the spirit. Oh, praise God. That should be the desire of every one of our hearts. Here, that we walk with him. Jesus, I was going to say, is the kingpin. Jesus is boss. That's right. Jesus in charge. He's hid over all things to the church. It's Him we owe allegiance to. And we should pay Him allegiance with everything we got. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Because He's going to come and shake terribly the earth. And we who belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken will be all right. Amen. We better make sure we belong to that kingdom. That's right. Now, I'm not wanting to cause anybody to doubt their salvation or their redemption. What I'm saying is some people will live off of carelessly. That's right. And, and, and they, they, they hope they'll make it in to heaven when they die. Yes. I heard Paul say recently, he doesn't hope so. He, he, he knows he's going to make it in. Amen. 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 And that's the way it is. Oh, thank God for a no-so salvation. Amen. Hallelujah to the wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We should do everything in our power to hasten his coming. Amen. We should. And that is not living carelessly and living for the world and seeing how far we can go into the world and into sin and still go to heaven when we die. You know there's something. Right. Is it all right to go to the show? Is it all right to go to the dance? Is it all right to do this? I just use those because of the first two things that came to me. If you're dancing for the Lord, I guess it's all right. But you know, you know what people are doing when they ask that? Is it all right? There's doubts in their mind. It's it's right. Right. They're, they're trying to see how far they can get away from the Lord and get into the world and still go to heaven. That's right. My, that is not the attitude of a healthy child of God. It should be that we should seek to please Him in all that we do. That should be uppermost in our hearts. And if that is in our hearts, the other one be. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, it says of Jesus, that He sought always to please the Father. Amen.